Hey YouTube, James here from the Apple side. Sorry I have not uploaded a video in a long time because I have been busy with schoolwork and everything. But this is a new video and I should have one up in a couple of weeks, uh, late June, so be ready for that. So for now I'm just going to go through some of my favourite widgets that I've downloaded recently on the Mac. Now the first one, as you can see, I have changed my wallpaper and it looks really, really nice. Uh, so this is kind of like Geek Tool, um, but a lot easier. You don't have to set it up or anything. You don't have to put in any code. It just comes all with this app. Now I can show you where to get it. The link should be here now, but also you can get it in the description. So this is where you get it. And as you can see, you can browse the clocks. Now these are the new clocks that have been released. As you can see, that one's mine. But you can also go on the most popular clocks, and these ones are really, really nice. But some of them are blocked, you need to buy the account to get them. So as you can see, you just click on the resolution that you want. It will download, you just click on that. And as you can see, that is my new wallpaper clock. You also get a widget up here, and you can change all the sizes. And also, if you go into change wallpaper clock, you can change it to whichever one you want. So I'm going to put it back to my old one. Now, I do have another tweak. This is called Drop Zone. You can get it on the Mac App Store, but you can also download it from their site online. Link will also be in the description. And this is really, really useful. Uh, for just moving files about on your computer, say if you've got a folder in a really awkward place and it just takes a really long time every time you want to get to it. So let me just give you an example. This is a new thing they have called Circles and I just have my favourite applications here. As you can see, ScreenFlow, which I'm using now, and Google Drive. You also get a little folder up here as well. Just really nice. I've started using Google Drive, by the way. Uh, as it just all syncs with the internet instead of my documents. And finally, this is a Safari tweak, which allows you to have the weather icon uh, at the top of the bar. You can add uh, the actual temperature, which I don't actually like, but I can show you an example of that maybe. Let me just close that and open a new window, and it might show. Uh, no, but anyway... If you want to go to their site, you can, just here, uh, by clicking on it. But it's just really nice just to see the weather. Um, I use that quite a bit. So that's it for now. Those were my favourite widgets add-ons on the Mac. So stay tuned for the next video, as I said, late June. Thanks for watching, guys. This was James from the Apple side. Bye.